guys what is up today i'm going to be making the part three of the platformer tutorial i made the second part yesterday and i'm here to continue it and add some really cool features so the first thing i want to do is that i really don't like the uh how this looks so what i want to do is go let's go into our first one and let's just delete this so the way you're going to get into the next level each time is by passing through a circle and the color is going to be a um well, what we're going to do, actually, is we're going to make a sprite. And the way we're going to design this sprite is go into vector. And this is going to be the sprite that um, is basically how you complete the game. Or, I mean, sorry, how you get to the finish line. So we're going to make it a dark shade of blue. And I'm just going to make it around that big. And my, uh, I think that, like, I want to... Let's put this, let's make sure it's centered, first of all. So I'm going to put the center right there. And the way it's going to work is it's going to be, like, right here. And in order to make it so that, like, you can see it a little bit better, what we're going to do is we're going to add a um, little less shade. And we're just going to go like this. And I'll shrink it down a bit. And then we'll put it behind... There we go. Okay, that's a little hard to see here. Let me just, let's just make it like, a, uh, for now, let's just make it like yellow. How about that? Actually, that's gonna be the color of coins. So let's make it pink. There we go. Okay, sorry for making that take a while. Uh, it's not centered, which is gonna bug me. So I'll just make it right there. Okay. So that looks about um, right, and um, basically what we want to do is we want to say uh, when flag is clicked, uh, forever, go to, X, and then what we want to do is make a list of finish, um, goal, position, X, and then also goal, position, Y. So we wanna, I wanna add, um, let's see. Let's make it like right here. Let's make it, oh, you know what I was gonna do? I, yeah, I remember, I was gonna go like this. And in the costumes, let's just go. Yeah. So if we center this, and then we just move it like that, and then yeah, okay, awesome. Let's take a little darker and let's get the outline. Or actually, yeah, lighter looks better. Okay, so what we wanna do is say um, add thing, not thing, we wanna add uh, 215, I mean negative 31 to goal position Y. And we wanna add 215 to goal position X. Okay, so then what we want to do is say goal position item item and we want to say level here and also level there. I realize a problem, um, so what we want to do is go into our main sprite and set the level to 1 and what we're going to do is we're going to go here and we're going to say we don't even need this next level, we're just going to say forever switch costume to and then uh, level like this. So that should work. Yeah. So uh, what did I mess up? Goal to item level of goal position X. There we go. So, oh, okay, let's hide both of these just cause they're gonna get annoying. And so you can see that this is a new thing, but obviously when we touch this, we're never broadcasting next level. So what, we, what I wanna do is we're gonna make that work. Okay, so um, currently we have this, and okay, so we're gonna have to make that work. So what I wanna do is, first of all, we're going to um, add a when this uh, is touched. So when, or in our sprite, when uh, forever, if touching sprite three, 
change the level by one. So when we hit this, since we don't have a level two, it should just go to blank one. Awesome. So that's how we know it's working. All right. So that's cool so far. And um, you guys can see like this. Okay. Awesome. So now what I want to do is we're going to add some physics to this. I feel like it's my duty. I have to give credit to Scratch Tutorials. Oh, we're going to be doing a collab soon, by the way. But I have to give him to uh, creds for this physics things because I didn't really know this and I didn't learn this. And he seems pretty advanced, so I'd like to thank him for that. But anyways, we're going to make it look uh, a bit cool. So we're going to add a plus sign. And what we want to do is drag this in here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to drag a multiply mul multiplication sign. And inside of this, we want to drag a multiplication sign. Um, and then inside of uh, this one, we want to drag in a minus. Oh, hold on. Let's do, we're going to drag in a square root. And then we're going to drag in a minus. So it's this cosine of, hold on. There we go. Okay. Oh my gosh. What is going on? Okay. So it's going to be that. Then we're going to do a multiplication. That's facts. Then the next thing is we're going to drag in cosine. And then we're going to do uh, multiplication. And then timer minus 3, 150. And then here it's going to be uh, 10. We want to do cosine, which is COS. Where's COS? COS, COS, COS. There we go. And we're going to go into sensing and we're going to drag in timer and put it right here. And then, yeah, that should be it. So let's drag this in here. Let's see how it looks. Yeah. So you can see it looks a little bit like that. Now, I might lag a little bit just because I'm being re uh, recording. But what we want to do is we can do, uh, we can make this 200. And we can make this one. Yeah, like that. Okay. So all we'll do is um, we'll say plus. Yeah, okay. And I think we can change this to like five. If I'm not mistaken. To change a little bit less. But yeah, so that's some physics to add to it. Just to make it look a little bit nicer. Okay, so we can... Um, Go into here, we're going to make a list and we're going to call it spawn points. And so what I want to do is I want to say uh, add a uh, thing to spawn point. Okay, I need to rename that. So we're going to do spawn position, spawn position x, and then spawn position y. Okay, we're gonna make that for the spread as well. Uh, okay, cool. So what we wanna do is we're gonna add negative 200 to spawn x, and then zero to spawn y. So then forever, we're going to set our x and y to, as you can probably guess, item, and then we're gonna drag in level of this here and we're going to duplicate this and make it x okay so let's hide these as well we can hide these while we're at it we'll, we'll keep level because that's kind of important and ooh, one flag is clicked okay yeah there you go oh man that's not good uh what, what do i have it as my x that doesn't sound right my item level, it should be negative 200. So why is it going? So, oh my gosh. It should be spawn position X, obviously. Okay. So now if we run it, it spawns from that point. Here it is. Obviously, uh, it's not going to go to the next level as fast. But there we go. Okay. So uh, in the next tutorial, we're going to be adding more levels, adding a cool puzzle design. So basically, the game's going to work is you're going to have to change colors by pressing N while you're playing the game in order to fit, like, it's hard to explain, but uh, I'll show you guys next time. But it's kind of a game where you switch colors. So it's not just a platformer, another boring platformer, but it's a little more interesting than that. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'll see you guys next time, and peace out. Bye. -bye. Peace.